All right, we working this time. Sorry, I just tried like three times to go live and it kept telling me broadcast failed. So let me know if you can see me and hear me. I'm sorry for the delay. We were running a couple minutes behind as it was. It was like 10 of three and I kept trying to, to go live and it was telling me it wasn't working. So let me know if we are working at the moment. Let me, in fact, let me go ahead and check my, let me check Facebook here and make sure it's actually live. There we go. All right, cool, it's working. Nice. All right, well, happy Friday, everybody. We got a good one here for you today. Welcome to the latest edition of the 20 Minute Booty Burner Challenge with Alexandra. Um, this is part of the Hustle Your Russell Booty Challenge that we got going on this month. If you haven't done any of the workouts so far, that's okay. You can go on back in any of the videos that you see with yours truly leading them. Um, the every one on Monday and Friday is a 20 Minute Booty Burner. Wednesday is a full body workout. Um, and that one's at four, Monday and Friday is at noon, just like today. So here's what we need to get started. Um, as you see in the post, you're gonna need um, at least one resistance band. Now you can use one of the booty loops if you got it, or if you have one of the longer ones, just wrap it around your ankles in the way that we'll, I'll show you how to use it. Um, we also are going to need um, a yoga mat or some kind of a cushion for your knees because we're going to be do a, uh, doing a kneeling exercise. Um, you're also going to need some ankle weights or if not, get some dumbbells handy um, or you can just use your body weight. And lastly, you're going to need a stability ball or you can use a bench or you can use your couch or you can just go without it. It's not a complete and total necessity. You will need something to um, the same mat that you use as a cushion for your knees. You can use it for your hips because we're going to be doing some reverse hyper extensions. So, with that, let's go ahead and get us started. So, go ahead and grab your booty band. I'm gonna be using this guy right here. We're gonna be putting it just below the knee. You know me, I like to do this one. Um, this is kind of a, a staple exercise. We're gonna be activating those glutes, waking up them booty cheeks before we put them to work. You don't wanna feel it in your quads, you wanna feel it back here in your cheeks. So we're gonna wake them up so that you get the right mind and muscle connection. Some people like to think it's not necessarily necessary, but I feel it more and I feel it better where I'm intending to whenever I do it this way. Plus you gotta warm up anyway. So let's get to it. Let me get my playlist back up. And, oh man, I forgot to break, well whatever, we'll be okay. All right. All right guys, shoulders down and back, chest up. Meet are about shoulder width apart. We're gonna take it back into a squat, two by two. Now you wanna sink back into your heels and you wanna keep your knees out in front, so don't let them collapse in, okay? We're going right here. Oh, this is Two by two. Now you can hold your hands out here, you can put them at your hips, that's fine. Or you can hold on to something if your balance isn't that great. Inhale. All right, let's take it to tempo. Here we go. Let's speed it up. All right. Now we're going to take it to the bottom half in just a second. Here we go. Stay at the bottom. Halfway up. Right here. All right. Stay here. Now we're going to take it to with some toe touches. We're going to do side squats, okay? I gotta back it up so you can see me in this shot just a little bit better. All right, take it to the top. Down and up. Down and up. Let's go the other way. I would do four that way and four the other, but I'll go off of the camera so you won't be able to see me. All right. Now, whenever the music builds and you'll be able to hear it, we're gonna stay at the bottom half and do this. All right. We got. One more set the other way. Take it home. All right, you hear it, here it comes. Bottom half, stay low. We're picking up the pace as well. You see how I'm not like bouncing all up and down? You wanna to try to basically balance a glass of water on the top of your head. Stay nice and low. Lead the motion with your heels and your knees. Don't just throw your leg out there. Use your muscle to move the band. Let's go. Make sure you're breathing. Your booty should be burning at this point. Try to live up to the name, 20 minute booty burner. Come on, stay here. 
Stay with me. One more set back to the home. All right. Bring it up to the top. Get a nice, good stretch. Let's go down two by two. And bring it up top. All right. Your heart rate should be up. And your booty should be burning a little bit at this point. Okay. Next we're going to do, we're going to do a new one. All right. So I'm going to show you real quick on this one. What you want to do is get one of your resistance bands, or if you had the same one, okay, uh, real quick, before I even on. If you don't have one of those loops that I just showed you, like what I was just using under my knee, what you can do is take a regular band with the handles. You can bring it up top like this, or if you have more resistance, you can hold it right here. But the point is, is that you can do the same thing that I just did a moment ago, like this, okay? You, can just, you just simply won't have it around your knee, it'll just be around your heels, okay? And then you can just hold it here. So just a quick little tip. Same thing if you have a big ring, a big loop, you can do the same thing where you just pull it up and put it over your shoulders, or you just hold it up here like this, like a front squat. But in this case, what I've got going on is I have my big purple loop. This is a heavy resistance, but use what you got, do what you can. I looped it around my bed as um, to use as an anchor. You want something sturdy. So if you have a really heavy dumbbell, you can use that. If you have a piece of furniture, you can use it. If you have somebody who can stand there, that's fine. Um, or you can use like a stool that you put something heavy on. But the point is, is we're gonna be doing some duck walks and some squats with it. So, but we're not going to be in the contraction. We are going to be holding on to it. All right? So here's what it's gonna look like. You want to bring it back to a point where you have enough resistance. I guess I can kind of move this way so you can see me. All right, actually, let me turn the camera just a tad. I'm going to be going off the screen. All right. All right, walk it back. Right here, shoulders down and back now. My back is nice and straight. I want you to go down and bring it on up as you squeeze through your heels. Take it back down. Two by two, reach and pull. Inhale, exhale. Shoulders on the back, chest up. All right, take it down. Duck walk in. Three, four, and back. Enough resistance on the band that you're feeling it the whole way through. Four and back. Now I want you to switch the lead leg. Forward, two, three, four, and back. All right. Leave it here. Reach it down. Four and up. Remember, I want you to push through your heels. Reach that booty back. Let your hands reach forward. Reach forward. Shoulders down the back. So basically, you're mostly using your glutes to move that band towards your belly button. But you're gonna pull a little bit. Three, four, take it down. One, two, three, four, and up.
that's exactly why a lot of times I like to use the broom to, uh, so that you can hold on to the broom and not the band. It's not pulling you out of the funky angle. All right. Now, you need to grab a mat, a yoga mat. This is just a little pad that I had that I used the other day. We're going to be doing kneeling hip hinges. All right. So I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing here. We are going to take the same setup that you had a moment ago, unless you need more resistance. If you have multiple bands, I would go ahead and use more resistance on this one. Well, maybe even less, actually. We'll see. Well, you might have to pause me and play with it if, um, if you're catching the replay. Okay, but what I'm doing is I am now putting my shoelaces on the ground like this. The band is right at my hips, okay? And it's anchored to something sturdy. This is the motion right here. You're going to reach your booty back and you're going to push your hips forward. It's just like a hip thrust, but in a different angle, a different position. You're going to be engaging your core just a little bit differently. And we're also going to be doing some single leg ones like this. And I'll show you what that looks like as we get to it. All right. You ready? All right. Shoulders down and back. Core tight. Here we go. We're going to go down slow. Back. Back. Now, every time you go forward, remember, I like to say the uglier the pucker, the better. Squeeze, squeeze, raisin booty back there. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Pick it up nice and smooth. Now, you can even have your knees turned out just a little bit. Just our glutes. Alright. Now, I'm going to switch the setup. You're going to put one leg out, your toe is up, and you're going to do the same thing. Reach back. Now, you might feel this in your quads just a little bit. That's alright. So if you have a stability ball, go ahead and grab it. Get your bands out of the way in here. Let's see, I hope I have enough room. I should have enough room. Okay, what we're going to be doing now is, I don't have a stability ball, but I've got a large-ish ball that Johnny has. Uh, like I said before, hopefully it won't pop and deflate, but at least we'll have that embarrassment on camera if it does. So disclaimer, uh, it's been pretty sturdy in the past, but if you have a stability ball, go ahead and grab it. We're going to be resting our hips on it. Um, if you do not have a ball, that's okay. You can use um, your couch and you can have your knees and your legs hanging off the, the back of, or the, the somewhere where you have room off the edge of the couch. Um, you can also just put a couple pillows underneath your hips. The main thing is that you want to give yourself just a little bit of elevation if you can between your hips and the floor that gives you room to move and get a stretch in your glutes. And it also is going to give some cushion to your hips. If you're just against a hardwood floor or a tile floor or what have you, it's going to hurt. You're not going to enjoy it. and You're not going to get the benefit out of the move. Um, not to mention it'll probably discourage you from wanting to do anything else. So we don't want that. We want you to enjoy the booty burn. All right, now, you have an option here. We are going to be doing, we've done this in one of the previous videos. In fact, I'm going to go to just a slightly different angle. Um, you can put ankle weights on if you want to make this more difficult. You can also hold a dumbbell or you can hold an ankle weight. I'm going to try holding this one. You can hold it between your instep. All right. But the main thing is, is that you want your feet together. Let me back it up just a little. And you're going to be kind of bracing yourself, pushing the, the ball underneath your hips. 
you want to roll forward just a little. This is the movement right here, okay? It's a hyperextension right there. So it's kind of like a frog pump, which is where you have your feet together and you push it. It's like a glute bridge on the floor, but that's why we're going to change the angle and do it up in the air. All right. Now, you can drop that ankle weight, which I need to adjust mine. It's falling. All right. Keep that core tight. Two. Bring it down for two. Now you can rest your hands on the floor or on the ground if you want. Keep that core tight. If you want to resist the ball or whatever it is that you're resting your hips on. feeling? Oh man, we might have a problem here. Uh oh. All right. Hopefully I'll survive. Sorry about that. Okay, next one. We're going to be going back to that ball and we're going to go ahead. If you have ankle weights on, keep them on. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. Um, if you have ankle, ankle weights on, go ahead and keep them on there. I'm going to use my two and a halfs on this. All right. Bit, but go ahead and put one on each side. Sometimes you just use one, sometimes both. <sighs> All right. Now, we're going to be doing some sideline leg raises. Okay, we're going to be working our gluteus medius, the side, the quote unquote side of your booty. Technically, there is no such thing as side booty, but for visual purposes, going to help shape up the size just a little bit. All right. Now, the reason 
why we're going to be on the ball doing this is because it gives you just a little bit more range of motion, which gives you a greater stretch, and it also gives you a little bit more time under tension. So you can do the same exact motion, but at a different angle, and you're going to confuse your muscles just a little bit more. All right, so what we're going to be doing here is you want to have your hip resting on the ball. All right, you want to go, here, I'm going to move back out just a little bit so you can see me a little better. All right. Now you want to stabilize yourself. Hold on, I gotta change my angle here. All right, here we go. Stabilize yourself with your elbow, forearm on the ground, and your knee is on the ground. All right, you're gonna be leading with your heel. We're gonna be going up just like this. You've done it with me before, but now you're at a different elevation, so you're gonna hit it just a little bit differently, all right? And let's go. We're going one up, nice and slow. Three, four, lead the motion with your heel. So you want to kind of have your toe pointed toward the floor. Core tight, lift that pelvic floor. All right. We're going to play with the tempo, two by two. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. Now you're going to feel it in your stabilizer leg as well. All right, here we go, let's single it out. Let's go. Singles. Now don't just use momentum and throw your leg up there. You wanna use that hip, hip use that hip flexor and your, your abductors, your glute medius, to move that weight. Stay with me, here we go. We're gonna change it. In and up. Every time we pull in our knee, we're engaging our core and we're stretching that glute. Stretch that booty, come on. Stay with me. Two, we got two more. Three, last one. And switch sides, quickly, 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 quickly. All right, here we go, same setup. Forearm on the ground. Two, down, slow. Up for two, back down. Remember, you wanna, you're bringing your foot just a little bit in front of the one that's on the ground. Let's go singles. Oh man, I really feel it on the one that's holding me up. Come on, stay with me. Now don't let your hips rock back. You wanna keep your hips square towards me, shoulders square to me. You ready? Keep going. Lift it up. Get that heel to the ceiling. Our core is engaged, pull those ribs in, lift your pelvic floor like you're trying to stop the flow of pee. Hold on, I gotta fix it. Okay, we're gonna bring our knee in. In and up. In and up. Give it a break for a second. Take it up, three, four, back down, in, and out. Woo-wee, all right. I don't know about you, but I really felt it on the leg that wasn't even moving a little bit more than the one that was. All right, guys, we're gonna take it down into a stretch. If you have a yoga mat, go ahead and grab it. Take those ankle weights off. We're gonna stretch those cheeks. All right. Here we go. You know me, I like to hug that leg. We're gonna go ahead and do that. That's man, that's where I feel the best stretch. In my glutes. Shoulders down and back. Tuck your shoulder blades into your back pocket. Inhale. Exhale as you hug just a little harder. Share yourself a little love. You need it and you earned it. And let's lean it on back. We're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna get just a little bit deeper of a stretch. Shoulders down 
come back. Inhale. Exhale. As you squeeze just a little harder. Let's lean it back. You know, I just had a thought. Right as I said, you earned it. Yes, you did earn the break, and yes, you did earn the stretch, but I said, you know, show yourself a little love. The fact is, is that true and unconditional love is not something that you earn. When Jesus paid it all, it's not because we earned it. And that was the ultimate act of unconditional, self-sacrificial love. Love that you got to earn is not really love, guys. We're going to take it into a pigeon pose. So what I'm doing is I have my leg across, one leg is back. And don't force it, only go as far as the muscles will allow. Inhale, and exhale as you sit that booty down just a little bit further. This is also one of my favorites. It's essentially the same motion. Let's switch to the other side. But you hit your hip flexor just a little bit. today's 20 minute booty burner. I hope you enjoyed your workout. Let me know if you tried it and if you felt it the way that you're wanting to feel it. And also don't forget to go back and share. If you want to be entered with a chance to win um, a hustle brand booty band, which is essentially the same type of thing. It's a, it's a loop like this, but it's actually, it's better than what I got. It's a fabric band and has this type of material on the inside to keep it from slipping. And it's great for doing a lot of what we just did. The way to enter is to share any of the videos that I am teaching on the Everyday Wellness page here on Facebook um, from the month of May. The person with the greatest amount of shares will be the winner. If there's a tie, we'll either do a drawing or who knows, maybe we might have multiple winners. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Don't be afraid to share and share away. And also don't be afraid to go back and redo some of the workouts. You can do what we've already done. Um, honestly, um, you can do the same workout several times and still get plenty of benefit with it, but I'm doing something new often to give you some variety with the videos. That way you're not seeing a bunch of videos with the same stuff. Um, some variations, but you know, try to change it up. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have any requests. Um, if you have any form tips or anything along those lines, don't be afraid to hesitate or don't be afraid to ask any questions either in a comment or message me directly. You guys have a great weekend. Remember that Jesus loves you and so do I. Bye.